Just because Notion has advanced database features does not mean you need to use them. Here's my simple and low effort personal knowledge management database in Notion. And there's one property that keeps it all together. So let's take a look. All right, so this is my database for my personal knowledge man management system, PKM. And you can see I have literally four properties. One of them is just the name. I have tags, I have the type, of media it is, and then the last time the note was updated. So my philosophy has two components to it. One is the database itself, to keep it pretty simple, in terms of the properties, I only have four or five properties. The thinking here is that about 80% of an effective database is based on just a couple of properties. And for me, I optimize for searchability, so I'm really focused on having great tags so I can find and retrieve information. After that, after a couple of different properties, it's diminishing returns, relational properties, different views, different filters. I think that stuff's fancy and fun and nice, but I don't think you need that. And the second point I want to make is the idea of not spending too much time on the front end of creating detailed notes. So I find it kind of cringeworthy when I see like these book templates that people have where they write out like the summary of the book or where they found it and then chapter summaries. Like there are a lot of books out there. Don't put this on yourself to like write notes for every single book that you read and putting it in your own words. And I know you'll forget these books, but that's okay. Unless you're actively like writing a book report or creating content off it, do that stuff on the, on the back end. Be reactive rather than proactive. I'll show you what that means with a book that I'm reading right now. All right, so back to my database here. So I'm gonna show you two examples of note-taking. So the first one is Project Hail Mary. This is a book by the author of The Martian. I'm one third of the way through it and it's fantastic. Now, this is a fiction book, so you probably wouldn't take a ton of notes, but here you could see how bare bones it is. I have just sort of page numbers that I found interesting and I wanna sort of come back to potentially. So right here, page 83, why microwaves don't melt your face. Interesting. May want to kind of read that back and kind of find why I found to be curious. I'm already curious right now. So I just kind of put tags on here and that's it. I don't have a book template or anything like that for this specific note. Here's another example. This is a YouTube video. I love that you could embed YouTube videos right into Notion so you could watch them. I have some notes here. Um, so this was David Perel talking to Sahil, who's the CEO of Gumroad. Uh, I have some tags here, the people in the video, as well as what the topic was. You can see I have some notes here, but it's really about the, the timestamp here. So if I wanted to watch the video again or find out what I thought was the most interesting, I could go to this at 841 and, and watch that. So this way of note taking is a much smaller lift than what you typically see with Notion and these templates that people come up with. It'll be a lot more sustainable using a system like this versus something that's a lot more elaborate. So back to my system here, it's really about making sure that's searchable, not discoverable. So I'm thinking about the tags here. The tags here are the linchpin of my system. I'm trying to make sure that I have descriptive tags. The idea is to make sure that you're thinking about your future self and what would your future self be typing in to find a specific topic, area, or a subject matter. So the tags are really important if you wanna spend any time on the actual database is to make the tags really, really specific as you can. Also the notes themselves, if you wanna change the titles of them to make them more sort of resonate with you and what you were thinking about, it's a good idea. So here, if I type in writing, I can drill down and I can find out all the notes I have on writing. Now, unfortunately, Notion does not allow you to search for two different tags. You have to sort of use the filter function here. So if I wanted to, look for articles, then I can look at articles and then type in writing and I'll find all of the articles that are about writing. It's a little bit annoying. I really do like this new feature in Notion where you can actually search for different filters. So if you created a bunch of filters, you could search for them, which I think is actually kind of cool, but I wish Notion was a little bit more advanced in its ability to search for tags. The other cool feature about the database is you can search within any page. So if I'm just searching in page is my personal knowledge management. I can type in things that are within the actual note, even if it's not in the tag or in the title, which is really cool. So if I typed in Evernote, there's no tag for Evernote and there's no title for Evernote, I can still find that in this para method that I saved, it has Evernote. So Notion did a pretty good job of finding words inside the document, which is pretty cool. And my last piece of advice for you guys is to contain all of your notes within three or four big databases. So I showed you my personal knowledge management. I also have one for personal notes that I have to do with things I have to remember like taxes and my license plate and, and random things like that. I have one for content creation. I have one for behavioral change and habits, which is just focused on that research topic because I have a blog and a newsletter on that. So keep those notes within the database so they're searchable and they have these tags. And I think of notes 
evolution as kind of like the universe where it's like expanding and things are getting further and further away from each other. And the idea of keeping notes within databases gives you a check on what you've written and things aren't lost. And if you're wondering why my philosophy of keeping things pretty bare bones and minimalistic and low effort is because I find Notion pretty overwhelming. And there's a video here that talks a little bit more about that.